we're not focused necessarily on designing restaurants. That's, that's not, actually, it's not really our niche, but this particular client's home, he had approached me, said, will you design a restaurant for me? And I, and, and I was honest with him. I told him, I said, look, I, I don't, I've never done one. I don't know the sort of functionality, the circulation space. And he, and he says, says, look, you know, I'll be patient with you if you're patient with me. And I thought that was a very nice way to start the project. And so we did our first restaurant for him I, probably about eight, nine years ago. The next restaurant asset that he asked us to get involved in, there really was no hesitation on our part, but um, it was a much larger space. It was a more ambitious program. When you're there, it feels as if it's, it's one whole restaurant, but really the way that it operates is that it's broken down into smaller areas. He does a lot of private gatherings, private parties, and there could be two, three private parties. So that was a real design challenge for us because not only did you want to make it feel cohesive, the design, but then how are you able to break up these spaces so it feels intimate for the events that you're having. The other element that made it very challenging is it's the restaurant's three levels. And, and there's the, the lowest level, which has the kitchen, but it also has um, some of the, the bathrooms in there. You know, for I, I don't think they're the type of restaurant which, you know, has this open kitchen where people are in there looking, but I think it's nice to sort of reveal the inner workings a bit. And, uh, and it creates, this, this interesting, you know, moment as, as people are sort of coming down to wash their hands. It, it's nice to see that. The first level, and there's the main restaurant and bar, and then there's the mezzanine, which has another bar as well. Circulation-wise, that was a big challenge, especially coming, you know, from serving from the lowest level all the way up to the mezzanine. And, and so that's why we, in some of the details, we came up with these, these larger, sort of more grand staircases, and there, were, there are two stairs, and it, it feels as if it's one, but it's actually separated for the, the staff and then for the diners. We were able to hire a company that would come in and they'd actually do a scanning, almost like a radar-like, of the entire space, and the, and the building's quite old. And the results were, were pretty surprising because the space that we saw was just a, a, a simple box. But what revealed behind that were these, these arches, um, these ceiling, and they had these beautiful vaults. And um, so we, we were very excited about that. And we said, well, we want to expose those and, and be able to kind of experience that, that language and detail that was you know, over 100 years old. With, with the new codes and safety and fire restrictions, we were not able to do that. So, but we used that as an inspiration. And so we, we opened it all the way up, created our fire protection, and then echoed this sort of, this uh, vaulted ceiling. But the way that we did it was not out of a masonry. We did it out of expanded metal mesh. It's a very sort of pliable, like fabric material and it became a good element for lighting. And, and so when you walk into the space, there's different elements of, of you know, washing it, in, not only in the vaults, but in the screens. And it creates a really interesting mood and environment for the restaurant. I think good design is good for business. You know, and it, it's, I guess you can talk about it in so many different ways, but I've had a lot of positive feedback from it and people like to return because they feel comfortable there and they like to bring their friends there. And, you know, there's, of course, there's the aspect of good food and I think you need to have a good chef and good food, but also the right ambiance. And that, that really makes, in my mind, a successful restaurant and people want to be, they want to be entertained, but they also want to leave their house to experience something else that's different. And, uh, and that's, that's what we did with the restaurant.